Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well we've got one for you today. We're just going to show you how to turn your blurb images into circles or round images like this. And just for a bit of fun I've added a grayscale hover effect. This is really easy to do. We've got to do a little bit of coding for this today but don't let that put you off. Any CSS I write I'll put down below the video and you're welcome to copy it and use it as you wish. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. And let's go down and start a new row. A little green button for a new row. I'm going to put three columns in. OK, well I'm going to use a simple blurb module obviously for this today. Divi comes as standard with all these modules. When you install WooCommerce you get an extra dozen for displaying your products also. So let's put a blurb in there. There's the default blurb. I'm not going to change any of the content. Obviously, that's up to you. I might take a little bit away. Image and icon. This is where you put your image in. So we're going to click on the placeholder there. And we'll pop in an image. Let's pop in this one. I'm using sort of oblong images for this today. This would work best actually with square images. You could cut down on the coding a bit, but it'll work with any shape. So I'm going to put that one in there. OK, so we've got our little blurb here. The only other thing I'm going to do is just align that text to the center. Now let's go over to our Advanced tab. And if we look down once we're on the Advanced tab, we've got Custom CSS. If you click on that, it'll open up. And we've got some boxes where we can enter code. We've got Before, Main Element, After, Blurb Image, Blurb Title and blurb content. Well we want to affect our image obviously. So let's go to our blurb image module and we'll start writing a little bit of code. Okay the first thing I want to do is to make it round and to turn a square into a circle we give it a border radius. Um, this isn't a square and you'll see some sort of oval things going on but we'll fix all that in a minute. So I'm going to say border dash radius and I'm going to give it 50%, which should make it pretty round. Semicolon. And we're going to hide any overflow that's spilling out. So I'm going to say overflow. Hidden. And as you can see, we can see our corners now. We've got an oval right there as it's an elongated image. If that had been a square image, that would be a perfect circle for us. But it's not, so let's make it the same height and width. So I'm going to say width. I'm going to give it about 200 picks. Adjust yours how you wish. And we'll give it the same with the height. Which makes it into a square and with those 50% border radius, as you can see, turns it into a perfect circle there. I want to make sure that that image stays in the middle at all times. So I'm going to give it a margin of auto, which will keep it in the middle for us. And I'm also going to give it a little margin on the bottom just to put a bit of space between the image and the title there. Let's say give it 25 pixel do for me. Obviously you put however much space you want in there. Great, so we've got our little round image. Now if you wanted to add that little grayscale hover effect that I put on there, really easy to do. And this is common to most Divi images. If you hover over the dark writing there, you'll see some icons appear. In whatever box you're editing, you want to hover over the title of the box. And if you see a little arrow, we can set a desktop state when the mouse is not on it, which is what we've got here. And a hover state when the mouse is on it. And for the hover state, I'm going to make it go grayscale. And to do that, I'm simply going to say filter, colon, grayscale, no gap at the end of gray, grayscale. And we want to open some round brackets. And I'm going to put 100% in there, which will make it totally black and white. There we go, just like that. Put a little semicolon on the end. We always put a semicolon on the end in case you want to add another line of code. If you put a line of code in there and put another line without a semicolon, it won't read the next line. So if you're intending to put more in there, make sure you put a semicolon on there. 
Okay, so as you can see, that's going to be grayscale when we hover over it and colored when we're not. Now, the time that it actually takes to go from desktop to hover version by default with Divi is almost instant. So I'm going to slow mine down a bit just for a bit of fade effect. So I'm going to use transition duration for that. Dash duration. And I'm going to give mine about three quarters of a second, 0.75s. And that way, it'll take three quarters of a second to go from here to there like that. So we should be good to go. Let's just save this. And of course, once you, you're happy with one, you can just simply clone it using a little clone right there, the two little squares. Drag it over change your image out and your content obviously if you've got different things to say and as long as you're using the same shape images you won't have to change the code at all There we go, simple as that. Now let's look on the front end, make sure everything's gonna work for us. Save, draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the Visual Builder. And here's our little set right here that we've done. Nice and round, they're in the middle when I hover over. They're gonna take three quarters of a second to fade into grayscale there. So like I say, really easy to do and that's a nice little effect to have on your site. So there you go guys, there's how to turn your blurb images into round images and add a simple hover effect. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.